In the studio with us now, Farouk Boni. He was aboard the Mavi Marmara. He's just arrived back in Doha after being detained by the Israelis. He's the director of uh, Al Fakura, an aid group focusing on education. Welcome back to Doha. Thank you. We have been trying to obviously gather as much eyewitness information as possible. Tell me exactly where were you when the raid happened and what you saw? I was on the second deck uh, when the actual uh, raid happened mm -hmm. and this was about maybe 30 feet away from the actual control room where the captain was. Okay, so you, below decks. Would, uh, and what happened as soon as you heard a commotion above, what happened? Yeah, we, what happened is, is as soon as, as the morning prayers were done at about 4.10, mm -hmm. uh, we heard uh, people uh, basically screaming saying that they're coming mm -hmm. and we looked overboard and there were two military sh uh, Navy ships that, right. that were approaching with commandos in it. And simultaneously there was a helicopter that was trying to lower people onto the, the deck. Mm -hmm. And at that point, uh, they, they threw a, a, a smoke bomb uh, into the ship, and, uh, which made a large explosion. And uh, there was a lot of panic at that point, and people started running all over the place. Okay, we're looking at some of the pictures. You can look at any of these monitors here. This was uh, Israeli military video taken from their helicopter, I guess. Yeah. So you're saying that they came down, the smoke bomb was thrown. Yeah, and, and at that point, uh, they also tried to... So I was about... Uh, uh, 30 feet away from from that shot right there okay and uh, so as as this was going on uh, they, they were they were lowering people onto the deck and okay. now this is the footage I really want to talk about because yes. you are you know so much of the talk has been about this being a, a peace flotilla of freedom fertilities a peace activists yes. this isn't peaceful behavior yeah because you see what you have to understand that none of the people were equipped with any ammunition as such but when things got sort of hand to hand, people basically grabbed what was around them. So you're saying this wasn't, I mean, the accusation has been this, this was premeditated. No. And, and to be fair, you, yeah. you must, you, um, I'm not saying you particularly, but everyone must have known there was the risk of, of, of being boarded, of an attack happening. Yes. So the things that, that people had prepared was, was water cannons. Uh, you know, people were basically positioned around uh, the, the actual deck where the captain was, mm -hmm. uh, trying to push off if anybody was, was, was to try and take over. Right. And, you know, and, and that sort of hand-to-hand -hand push and shove, uh, people basically, you know, if there were things lying around, they saw uh, the, the Israelis with guns as, 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 as they came down, and obviously people were afraid, so I suppose, you know, whatever they found in their hands, you know, they, they basically... So, so you are categorically going to say that those iron bars, we, uh, we had... Um uh, Major Avital Leibovich, who's the, the spokesperson for the Israeli army, yeah. saying an iron bar, and, and, and it's a fair comment, an iron bar in anyone's face yeah. is a potentially deadly weapon. Yeah. You're saying that those were not brought on board? They were not brought on board for this purpose. For this purpose. Uh, during this, 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 this whole showdown, if, mm -hmm. if people managed to get a hold of things lying around that happened to be a bar or a piece of stick, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you know, that, that, that is the case. But uh, when you talk about attack or you talk about, you know, it's actually the Israelis mm. who attacked our ship. Uh, and, and, and basically, you know, their whole comment is that, well, who initiated the attack? Or, or, or who, who is basically, they attacked us, so, so we basically attacked back. Okay. But by them, you know, getting onto the ship, throwing smoke bombs, uh, lowering people onto the deck, that's, that's attack. I, I, are, you, are you happy to call this a, a peaceful flotilla? Obviously, it was a peaceful uh, fl flotilla. The intention was, uh, you know, the, the ships were loaded with humanitarian assistance that were traveling to Gaza. But the actions of the people, as I say, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the disproportionate force that was used, and yeah. you've said smoke bombs, guns, and, and these types of things. Yeah. But as I said before, there's pictures we were looking at, I don't know if we can roll them again, that's not peaceful activity. Yeah. In the heat of the moment, as I mentioned, is, is you know, people must have grabbed things that were around them, uh, you know, knowing that these people are coming to take over the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people obviously wanted to defend themselves, they wanted to defend the ship, they wanted to defend the humanitarian goods, but, but this whole mission from the very beginning is being communicated as a humanitarian mission. Uh, you know, there's multiple organizations, people from, from, from different countries who participated in this. And continu continuously, this is something that was being communicated to the Israelis as well, that this is a humanitarian mission. What do you know about any potential future missions? There's talk of more flotillas, more ships going out there. Yeah. There was talk I heard of the Turkish wanting to send a warship to, to accompany them. The fact is a precedent has been set now and Israel's not shown any sign that it will back down from its current position. Yeah. So if another ship heads out again, this could well happen again. Yeah. Would you say that the, 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 uh, the people on the flotilla would be 
prepared, if I can use that word. Most of the people that I've spoken to, they're ready for the, for the second flotilla. And, and this has actually made them more determined that, you know, we have to break the siege. And, but they, and they, they, they won't be able to, again, not, not condoning anything, but they won't be able to, they don't know what's coming. They know exactly what's coming. Yes, but, but in, 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 in the sense of where there's a determination to help the people of Gaza in, in order to, to, to be able to provide humanitarian assistance to them, people are determined that, you know, the people in Gaza should not have to suffer because of this. There's also the theory that, be careful how I phrase this, but that any news is, is good news in a way. I mean, you want to get the aid through to Gaza, of course, but if Israel attacks in the manner it has, it brings the, it brings the topic to light, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, is that something they're willing to risk again, being potentially I mean, injured? I mean, we have seen the, the, the kind of impact this has had. So, so according to, 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 to the cause that you know, we, we set out to attain, which was to deliver these goods, mm. uh, we might not have been able to do that in that sense, but it has definitely served the cause of bringing this to the attention of the international community. Could, be, could end up being a vicious cycle, though, couldn't it? Because Israel, there's, there's, there's no way that Israel's going to back down. They're not showing any signs of, of remorse for this or saying that they would do anything differently again. Yeah. So if you send people out there again... Right. I mean, you, we cannot stop people from going. Obviously, this is, this is not something, you know, now people know the consequences. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, force should not be used uh, in, in, in the sense that, you know, we are humanitarian people. We are activists. You know, we want to be able to help the people. We want mm. them, you know, uh, to, even when we met the Israelis, you know, we said to them that, you know, how, how dare you do this? Mm. If you were suffering, you know, we would come to your help as well to provide What, you. what about what the Israelis say about, uh, and this was a, a line which we heard from Mark Regev a lot, the Israeli Prime Minister spoke bring the aid to Ashkelon we'll 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 take it through over land it, it was it was this was something that was that was talked about but what was also important is is it, in Gaza you know people have the right to 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 move through freely to to be able to receive goods so mm -hmm. this was this was also in the sense that you know what we wanted to do to show that you know these people should be allowed access they should be allowed to to, uh, to be delivered humanitarian goods. So it was not a matter of where it needs to go. Mm. Yes, the end purpose is that, you know, people need to be provided assistance, but at the same time, people are free to determine how they want to receive goods. Just, just very briefly, if, given what we've seen, wouldn't it be a better idea to go through those channels? Just to, to avoid this potentially happening again, as I said, a vicious cycle. It is, it is unfortunate what has happened, but at the same time, it has served the purpose of showing to the world that, you know, how aggressive Israelis can be. Uh, you know, and, and really the, 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 the use of force that they used against, uh, you know, people that were, that were promoting. I don't know how more peaceful you could be to, to deliver a cause or, or, or to communicate a cause where we clearly said that, you know, we are, you know, from the humanitarian community, mm -hmm. we are going to deliver humanitarian goods. These are the goods that we're delivering. Um, so it, it was a very peaceful activity. Farouk Boni from uh, Al-Fakura, thank you for coming in. Thanks thank for you. telling your story. Thank you.